Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, I'll guide you through the process of installing Android version 9 on VirtualBox running on a Windows 11 or 10. Same steps can be applied. Let's get started. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification for future updates. Also, if you don't know how to download and install VirtualBox, check the link to another YouTube video where I explain how you can do this. Now, from your desktop, copy the download link in the video description. Open your web browser. I'm using Chrome here. Paste the link. Click the download button to download the ISO image. And don't worry, this is a trusted source. Once the download is complete, locate the downloaded file in your downloads folder. Remember this location as you'll need it when setting up VirtualBox. Now open VirtualBox. Click on New. Name your virtual machine. Leave the machine folder as default. Choose Linux as the type. Scroll down to the end of the list here and select Other Linux 64 bit as the version. Choose the size of the RAM and click Next. Also choose how many CPU cores you're going to use for this virtual machine. For the hard disk space, Choose the default Create a Virtual Disk Now option. Leave the disk file type as VDI Select Dynamically Allocated and set the file size to 12 GB or more. Click Create to finish creating the virtual machine. Next, click on Settings. Under System, go to Processors, and set at least two processors. In the Acceleration tab, choose Hyper-V if you are using Windows 11 or KVM if you are using Windows 10 from the drop-down menu. Now, navigate to the Display tab. Maximize the video memory available to 128 MB and select VoxVa as the graphics controller. In the Storage tab, under Controller, IDE, click on the empty disk symbol and choose your downloaded ISO image. Click OK to save the settings. Back in the main window, start the virtual box. Ensure you select the correct ISO from the drop-down menu and click Start. In the Android installation menu, use the navigational buttons to highlight and choose advanced options. Then select the Auto Installation option. Confirm and continue through the installation process. It will take about 5 minutes, so let's speed up the process. Once completed, either run or reboot the system. Follow the installation wizard to set up Android. Including skipping Wi-Fi setup if you're running it on a virtual machine. Proceed with date and time settings, location services, and other preferences. Once installed, 
Android 9 will boot up and you can explore default apps or access the Play Store to install additional applications. That's it. You've successfully installed Android 9 on VirtualBox using a Windows 11 PC. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.